It's March 2nd, 2022, so it's time for another monthly update video. I'm going to tell you what I've got going on in March and anything that you might have missed in the month of February. So I always like to begin with talking about three big things. And big thing number one is a really big thing. People have been asking me about this for a long time. When are you going to have some merch for us? Well, I have created a merch store with Spring that is connected to my YouTube channel. And so you can see the stuff on the videos. I've created three designs. Uh, one is Half Hour Hegel, one is I Study with Sadler, and one is Banjo Metaphysics. And I'll have others coming out, but that's what I've got for now. Uh, second big thing is another big thing as well. I'm going to start doing a new live streaming once a month on Stoic philosophy and practice the basics. I'm going to take a key concept from Stoicism or a practice and go into it and then answer questions and take comments. Finally, big thing number three, I'm really proud of this and I'm glad that somebody alerted me to it. Half Hour Hegel has turned eight years old. Uh, it happened just over the, the weekend and it's pretty cool, you know, from the very first video that I put out to, I think it was Saturday, eight years. So those are the big things. Now let's talk about what went on in February. February was a pretty packed month, and it was a short month, so we really packed a lot in there. Uh, one of the cool things that happened was I did my first in-person talk since COVID began, hosted at the Frank Weinberg Library. We're now doing the uh, Philosophers in the Midst of History series again, so that's, that's really cool news, right? We did something on Plutarch. You can see the link to that video in the video description below this. Um, you know, we did our other normal events, uh, an AMA session, live readings from my book, Half Hour Hegel, Metal Class with Scott Terulli, Wisdom for Life with Dan Hayes. I also was on Drive Time from River West, although that's not going to be continuing on. Did a political theory and practice discussion and um, uh, worlds of speculative fiction. We continued on with that with Philip Pullman's His Dark Material. So a lot of online events, one face-to-face -face event. I also took over a colleague's class. Uh, one of my colleagues at Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design is on medical leave, so I took over his writing class and, um, you know, also started my medieval class at Carthage College. Um, lots and lots of client work. I'm doing a, a lot of uh, tutorials, some philosophical counseling, some consulting, and I did some medium writing as well. And I'm working away on some book projects as well, uh, which is good to, to do. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, I started a merch store and you know, I thought I would create some kind of quirky, idiosyncratic designs. We'll see if it's kind of an experiment. We'll see if people want to wear or have on a mug or put on their wall these these sorts of things. If they do, that's cool. If they don't, nothing lost. Um, I will say that uh, spring takes a good chunk of the change from it. I would make things uh, significantly less expensive if I could, but you know that's that's what merch costs these days, I suppose. And you know it's nice to have things available on demand. So, and if this takes off, uh, I'll add some more designs. You know. Um, but we'll see how, how it does. Uh, another cool thing that happened this last month is I got asked to be in a speaker series at the University of Würzburg uh, in Germany, and I won't be going over there. They actually said, well, if you insist on it, you know, we'll, we'll find some way to fly you over. And I was like, well, I, I love being in Germany. I haven't been there since the 90s, but um, no, I, I'll, I'll do it by Zoom. So that, that's always kind of cool. Um, I did have one other cool thing that happened as well. I um, had a, a book chapter published because the book was published. <laughs> My uh, book chapter on Anselm and his prayers and, and divine mercy and justice. 
Um, video work. I got three half hour Hegel videos done this month. Um, all the events videos, which you'll find linked below. Um, you know, Wisdom for Life as well. The radio show, I, I record those sessions. And I released a number of videos finishing out the series on Laguine's Earthsea for my class last semester with a number of videos on The Other Wind, which is the sixth and final book in the Earthsea series. So that brought that to a close. And then I started uh, putting out videos on Augustine's Confessions and also Prudentius's Psychomachia, right? So those are for my medieval class, and you're going to see a lot more medieval videos coming up soon in, in Core Concepts. Um, I had done a poll about the podcast, and people had said, you know, that they wanted this and this and this. So I, I finished out the Aristotle Politics Book 1 podcast episodes in the Sadler's Lectures podcast, then switched to Deleuze and his uh, um, article, or at rather book chapter, Bartleby or the Formula from Essays Critical and Clinical. And then since then, I've been doing um, podcast episodes on Anselm's Monologion, which is a text I'm going to be teaching in about a month and a half, I think, in the medieval class. So that's what went on in February. Pretty busy month and a lot of cool stuff there. We have a lot of events coming up in March, so I'm going to run through all of these. And I want to let you know from the very start, you can put these on your calendar. You can also find them on the Reason.io events calendar. You just go to the Reason.io.com site and you'll, you'll find them. People sometimes say, how can I know when things are coming up? It's pretty simple. You know, you go to that events calendar and all of them are in central time. So if you're going to an online event, make sure that you've got the right time zone. All right. So what do we got coming up? On the 5th, that's this Saturday at noon Central Time, my monthly Ask Me Anything AMA session. That is an AMA, so you can ask me stuff about philosophy, you can ask me personal questions, you can ask me about heavy metal, you can ask me all sorts of things, and people do. Following that, at uh, 2 p.m., I will have my monthly philosophy chat for Patreon supporters. That's a perk for people who want to support the kind of work that I do and, you know, show some gratitude with uh, uh, helping me stay afloat. On the 9th at 5 p.m., we will have our Hegel Q&A and discussion session. That's the public one. Uh, anybody can attend that. That's underwritten by Patreon supporters of the Half Hour Hegel Project, but it's open to anybody. On the 11th at uh, 12 p.m., we'll have our first live reading from my book, uh, uh, Reason Fulfilled by Revelation, the 1930s for, uh, Christian Philosophy Debates in France. And we're going to be getting towards the end of it. We will actually finish up with all these readings uh, this, this month. So that'll be on Fernand von Steinbergen's The Societe Tomi's Second Day of Studies in the Notion of Christian Philosophy. Um, then, right after that, the next Saturday, uh, on the 12th at noon, we'll have our Worlds of Speculative Fiction series, and we are doing Octavia Butler's Parable novels, The Parable of the Sower, The Parable of the Talents, a very prescient, uh, hopefully not completely prescient, but a very prescient set of novels about social and environmental uh, breakdown within the United States uh, just, you know, a, a dozen or so years from, from now. Then uh, at, uh, on, on the uh, uh, 13th, that's that Sunday, we are at noon, we're going to have that new live streaming um, Stoic Philosophy and Practice, The Basics, and I'm going to be talking about one really key idea, the four virtues. So if you got any confusions about what virtue is in Stoicism, you might have heard that Stoicism says virtue is the, the only good. We're going to be talking about what that means and what the virtues are and how justice includes uh, kindness.
happiness and things along those lines. Um, on the 17th at noon, we'll have another live reading from my book, and that will be Maurice Blondel's For an Integral Philosophy. On the 19th at noon, we'll have classic metal class. Scott Terulli and I are going to be discussing metal parodies and parody groups and whether they count as metal or not. So everything from Spinal Tap to Steel Panther, uh, join us for that. It's going to be a great conversation. On the 24th, we'll have at noon another live reading, and we will finish up the book, hopefully, with Leon Noel's um, The Notion of Christian Philosophy. Then on the 26th at noon, we'll have our Political Theory and Practice live stream. Haven't decided the topic yet. There's a lot of stuff kind of floating in the air due to the uh, Russia-Ukraine conflict, so I might be talking about that, or I might be talking about the original topic I had in mind that of toxic freedom. Um, and then finally, on the 31st, we'll have the MKE, that's Milwaukee Stoic Fellowship. We're working our way through Diogenes Laertes' summary of Christian, or summary of Stoic philosophy. Got, got my mind on my, my book for a second. Um, so if you want to learn about Stoicism and what uh, the Stoics had to say and you know what their their views were that's a great place to go as well as uh to to you know some of the other things that i'll be doing uh, I imagine I'm going to be just as busy with clients this, this month. I'm getting to the point where I probably can't take on too many new clients because I've got so many uh, already booking my time or coming my way. I'm going to be doing some more writing and media. I'm still working on book projects, including Stoicism Today, Volume 4. If you don't have Stoicism Today, Volume 3, you might want to check that out. And uh, what else do we, we have coming up? So video work, um, Half Hour Hegel Project, you know, just mentioned it turned eight years old. I'm going to try to get my six videos for the month done. It's pretty rare that I make that quota, but I'm going to try to shoot for it anyway. Uh, got some books to review I've, I've been meaning to get to for a while. I, I want to do some more Sadler's stories and probably some personal uh, videos and of course there'll be videos from all these online events as well that you can check out core concept videos a lot more on Augustine's confessions I'm going to be shooting content on Boethius's consolation of philosophy which is the next big text that we have coming up not sure whether all that will come out by the end of the month but we'll we'll see what we can pack in um, finally, uh, podcast stuff. So I'm, you know, finishing up with Anselm's Monologian, um, at least the, the portions of it that I'm using for my medieval class. And then I promised to get on to AJ Ayer. I've got some podcast episodes to edit on his language, truth, and logic. So those of you interested in verificationism and analytic philosophy, you got a little treat ahead of you. And then I'm going to be doing a deep dive back into Cicero and doing some stuff on uh, his work on the ends, also called on moral ends, having to do with Stoicism and Epicureanism. And that will probably take us to the end of the month. So long, busy month ahead of us. I hope this is a great month for all of you. And I hope to see you here in some of these uh, online events. And uh, let me Throw in a plug, a reminder, if you've been asking for merch, now's the time to put your money where your mouth is and uh, see if there's anything that you'd like to buy for yourself or as a gift for somebody else. Um, it's one of those things I'm do is doing it as, as an experiment. If it uh, takes off, I'll put more work into it. If it doesn't take off, probably not going to put more work into it, but I did what people asked and uh, now we'll see how it goes. So anyway, uh, hope you all have a great month and I'll see you in the interwebs.